read you this statement that was released by a spokesman for Robert Kraft. It says, quote, we categorically deny that Mr. Kraft engaged in any illegal activity. Because it is a judicial matter, we will not be commenting further. And uh, Cheryl Fiendaka is here with us. And Cheryl, you're a lawyer. You know the game of the law here. Uh, when police and investigators come out right there in the press conference and say, we have video evidence of every single act that was performed on one of these 25 gentlemen mm -hmm. uh, inside that spa, that's going to be hard to refute in court. It is, but we have to realize that these are all allegations. That's what the police do. They come out and they say, we have, the, we are charging these people based on the information that we have. Just because the police say it doesn't mean it's true. It means that that is what they are saying. And I'm, I'm assuming what Robert Kraft has said in his statement, which is that he categorically denies these allegations. It, it appears that he will hire a criminal defense attorney. He will go down to he's Florida. He's going to have to go to Florida. He's he going to have to show up in court. Yes, yes. He's going to have to Do you think that they, as part of this, they're going to play this video in open court in front of the, you know, what, if, how will you think this will play out? Well, at first, when he goes into, you know, the, the initial appearance will just be to make an initial appearance in court, and the case will be continued. If this case goes to trial, then yes, the evidence could be played in court. I mean, if he's going to try the case, then the prosecution is going to say, this is our evidence, and we are going to show it in open court. So anyone that's in open court would be able to see it, which, so you can infer that if they do have this evidence and it is true and if that all of the allegations that they're making are true and they do have specific evidence that shows Robert Kraft engaging in sexual activity in this massage parlor that they say these women were being trafficked in um, I doubt very much that this case will go to trial right what's the defense can he say this was consensual can do you think is, is that the game to play well, if they have specific evidence and they have video, then the only thing you can say, you know, you, you have a couple of things that you could say in a defense is that you didn't do it, you weren't there, it's not you. In this particular case, I don't know that that's going to be true if it's, if it's true that the police do have video evidence. So the only other option that you have is that this was consensual and that you had some type of a relationship and that the person that you engaged in these activities with was a willing participant. And that is going to be challenging in this case because the police are alleging that these women were being trafficked, that they were again, that they were there against their will, and that there were two people that were running this um, operation that were forcing these women to do this. And, and that is going to be the evidence that they're, they are planning to present. Now, of course, you know, Mr. Kraft will have, a, I'm sure, a very good criminal defense attorney who will look at all of the facts and circumstances and determine what the best course of action is. But as, as in every single person that's ever charged with a crime, they are presumed to be innocent. And that's how our system works. So until he is proven guilty or until he decides to say, I'll admit to those facts, that those are the facts. I'm not admitting to the crime. I'm admitting that those are the facts. Um, those cases are continued without a finding. So he would not be convicted. And I'm, he has no criminal record. He's not been ever charged with prostitution before. So the worst case situation for him would be that he would be found guilty. All right, so police said the arrest warrant will be issued. How right. long do they have? What are we looking, do you think, that this typically, how does this typically play out out of state? It's probably going to be issued today. I mean, these, if they're coming out saying that these people are charged, then the only other thing that they need is to get a judge to sign a warrant saying that this person needs to show up to court, um, and this is a warrant for his arrest. So if he comes into the state, he could be potentially arrested. So if he goes back to Florida, he could be arrested. Right. So that's, I mean, in this particular case, in a high-profile situation like this, that's never going to happen. He's, his lawyers are going to contact the county attorney in Florida and make arrangements to have him come into court and turn himself in.